Hello, 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 my lovely friends. How are you all doing today on this 28th day of February, the 28th day of the second month of the new decade? Whoa! How's everybody doing today? And of course, today, as I continue on with my daily thoughts on this Never Give My Never Give Up Friday, I want to share with you today of some wonderful new, wonderful strategies that I've acquired this past 19 months to never give up. Because you know what? I know, I know for a fact that when you start to pursue a, a wonderful, worthwhile goal or a dream. You can't get daunted along the way because you get frustrated. You start asking questions. You're going, why am I doing this? What was the reason why I started this in the beginning? This, this is too hard. This is too hard. I thought it would be easier, you know. Um, this is taking too darn long. I'm getting nowhere with this. I keep failing with this. I can't do this. What the hell was I thinking? And you start thinking like that, right? Hey, Randy. And your mind goes into the negative I can't mood. Well, I'm going to share these eight strategies with you today, my dear friend, and not quit. And strategy number one is adapt I, adapt the attitude mindset of I can, I don't quit mindset. This is another, this is a good one. And of course, the most, best thing to do is affirmations, Aff positive affirmations, positive mantras on a daily basis. This is the best way to keep your mind back into the I can mood, right? And here's a few little mantras that I have written. I will persist when things get tough. I will find a way to make it, to find a way for the, a solution. Um, every problem has a solution. I'm capable of finding it. Set, as the setback is only temporary. Um, that's the Strategy number one, and that's a good one because you're getting yourself back on track, getting to the positive I can mindset, I don't quit mindset. And strategy number two, how about watching videos? Go on YouTube, watch motivational videos of our wonderful online, shall we say, mentors that have gone through what we have gone through. And these beautiful motivational videos, they share of their story, how they struggled and how they didn't quit and they kept moving forward as they were carrying on to, to pursue their dream and their goal. And also there's so many interesting movies out there nowadays about people that have struggled and continued on regardless, despite the things that are happening around them. And they kept going, they kept staying strong, they never quit. This is a good strategy. And strategy number three, call someone, keep having a good accountability partner. Somebody that's going to help you, motivate you, help you find the solution to never quit on what you started in the first place. It's a good thing. And it is something that's wonderful. You can even be a part of a group of people. Each one of you getting together to helping one another on a daily basis to keep moving forward and to never quitting. And strategy number five, four, go back to the reason why you started your journey in the first place. What was the reason that started you on this wonderful road of why you want to pursue this goal, this dream. There has got to be a reason why you did it. And you might have written a bunch of goals. Go back to read them. The read them, the strategies, what you want to start with. And there you'll see the reason why you should not give up. And strategy number five, how about a different approach? If what you're doing now is not quite being successful, research, go online, Learn some new ideas, how you can approach your dream because what maybe you're doing now is not quite working. So why not find a different approach, a way of, shall we say, becoming more successful in what you're doing because you realize, okay, this isn't working. Let's try something new. It's okay to veer off your path because you're learning and growing and understanding how you can become successful. And strategy number six, succeed in something else, right? It makes sense, right? Because sometimes you get all stuck and you get frustrated with what you're doing now well there's no 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 there's no there's no uh shall we say it's a good idea because what you're doing is you're veering off trying some new things that you know that you're going to be good at you're not you're not quitting on what you're doing you're just sort of veering off trying some new things um doing some different um goals short-term goals that you know you will achieve and you'll find your, your, your can-do attitude becomes back even further. It could be as simple as writing a blog, or it could also be you tried a new recipe or you wanted to do some baking that you really want to try. As also as um, 
getting some late, as simple as just getting some weight off or trying a new healthy regime as well as doing what you're doing now. And you'll go back to what you're doing because you'll see you become successful in those little goals. True, right? And strategy number seven, use failure as a stepping stone. If you're making so many mistakes, you're failing at what you're doing, you're getting really frustrated and you want to quit, don't quit. Okay, there could be a breakthrough along the horizon, right? So just because these failures are happening, it's just stepping stones and life lessons to help you become more stronger within you. Strategy number eight, keep moving forward, be consistent, don't stop. Because when you do quit, it's because you just stop the mid-tracks. You're not becoming consistent. Enjoy the process. Be consistent. Keep doing what you're doing. Find the new ways of doing things. You'll find yourself becoming more stronger and having a can-do, a don't-quit attitude. But these eight strategies are excellent because they, they've helped me. And why do I say they've helped me? It's because... 19 months ago, I started on my road to social media marketing, social media, being more online to, to the dream I wanted to be, become more successful online. And I do, I had some pitfalls along the way. I got a little frustrated. I went, why the hell am I doing this for? What was the reason? My God. And I kept thinking to myself, I can't. But I did start getting up in the morning with gratitude and affirmations. I still do this every day. And I also watch a lot of wonderful motivational videos as well as I watch some beautiful things on TV. Beautiful movies that really help encourage me to keep going. I also adapted um, a lot of wonderful accountability partners along the way. People that kept me strong and kept me in learning new ideas to move forward. And yes, I went back and saw the goals I wanted to achieve and I wanted the reason why I started this in the beginning. To begin with, why did I start on this road? Because I knew one thing in my life, I wanted to start into a new direction. I wanted to move forward and become successful. So as I retire in a few years, I'm going to still be on this beautiful path to success and working at home and working online. And that's what I, that was the why I made me start realizing I'm not quitting. And yes, I did find different approaches. I find, I started new um, ideas. I learned some new skills along the way. I veered off for just a bit. I would do some wonderful uh, boot camps and checked out some webinars and things that really helped me to become, to refuse to quit. And yes, I do succeed in other things. I'm, I'm also learning some new health things. I love to bake. I created my new keto bread. I do different things on the side to really become successful. And yes, I'm in the process of creating a blog, believe it or not. So I, I am actually doing that, guys. And then I go back still every day and I still do what I'm doing as well. Plus, believe it or not, I have failed along the way many times in the past 19 months. And I know it's part of life lessons. And I am consistent every day. I do this on a daily basis, the eight strategies. And I'm consistent every day to what I'm doing. Because I have adapted the can, do, won't, quit attitude. And I keep going. And I'm consistent. And I am enjoying and loving the process of how long it's going to take. Because then I'm learning new ideas. I'm learning new skills. And here are some beautiful quotes like I like to share. Some of my favorite things that motivate me every day. And the one simple to the point is never give up. Find a way to make it happen. A good one. Or success comes to those who keep trying. You don't want to live in regret. So never ever give up. Never give up on a dream just because of the time it will take to accomplish. The time will pass anyways and be strong because things will get better. It may be stormy now, but it never rains forever. I want to share one more thing. Yes, achieving large, crazy goals isn't easy, right? Somewhere along the line, it's very likely you do want to quit. But when you feel like quitting, don't give up. Live your best life by refusing to quit. How about applying these eight strategies, my lovely friends? Never give up. Never give in. The road is there process. Enjoy it. I enjoyed this chat today on my daily thoughts of Never Give Up Friday. Have a beautiful, lovely day, my lovely friends. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.